This is Andre Battles with I Battle Daily Ministries. Masturbation. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to be real honest with you, and I'm going to be frank with you. The issue of masturbation is not so much an issue of pleasure. Understand and hear me well. The issue of masturbation is an issue that is more connected to your emptiness. You feel empty. There is a hole in, the, in your heart that needs to be filled. And as a result of this hole, as a result of a lack of love, a lack of affection, a lack of concern, a lack of fellowship, you feel that the only way to fulfill yourself is to go and to commit this grievous sin. Yes, masturbation is most definitely an issue of lust as well. But I want to encourage you this evening with the thought that you are empty. And when an individual is empty, they will do whatever it takes to fill themselves, including masturbation, drugs, alcohol, or any other such thing. Masturbation is serious. And I'm going to tell you why it's serious. Masturbation is a sin that is committed against oneself. First of all, when the desire comes to you, you begin to feel it in your flesh. And as a result of feeling the urge to satisfy yourself, you begin to become afraid. Now listen to me. Pay attention to what I'm saying. Many times we fall into sin because of fear. When the desire to do something comes about and we have said in our hearts that, you know what, I'm a new born Christian. I'm a born again Christian. I don't want to do these things anymore. Yet I still find that the desire is within me to do this and that the desire is strong. We become fearful whenever we're tempted in that particular thing. We become fearful because we remember that in times past we have failed in our attempts to stay clear of this thing. And because we are now afraid when we consider our track record that we have failed in this area so many other times, we become fearful in the present because we know naturally the next thing is to go and masturbate. We're afraid. And Jesus has said in his word that he has not given us the spirit of fear, but he has given us the spirit of power and of love. Instead of us being fearful when the temptation of masturbation comes upon you, brothers and sisters, cry out to God in strength and say to your enemy, say to your flesh, and say to God, I am not afraid. And yes, you're dealing with a man that was an addict, uh, addicted soul to masturbation. So I speak on this subject with passion. I speak from the first person because I know exactly how powerful this demon is, this demon of lust and masturbation. Because remember, in order to bring oneself to climax, there must be lust. You must be thinking about things that you ought not to be thinking about and putting yourself in scenarios that you ought not to be putting yourself in in order to bring yourself to a climax. Or if you're not just simply thinking these things, you're consuming things, you're watching things that will allow you to bring yourself to a climax and all of this is wrong and because it feels so good. Because it is personal, because it comes and appeals to your flesh, you feel hopeless against this sin. Brothers and sisters, you don't have to fail. You don't have to fail in this particular area of your life any longer. We need to remember that although the desire to do sin comes to us and appeals to the flesh, we are new creatures, and new creatures where? In the mind. We are no longer slaves to sin and death. So when the flesh comes and says, it's time to masturbate, it's time to drink or smoke, or to do any other thing that we used to do, we must lift up a standard against the flesh and say, I am no longer that person. This is not who I am. 
And remember that there are two sources of our strength. One comes from the Spirit of God and the other comes from the enemy and he uses your flesh to manipulate you. So remember when you feel the flesh coming against you, it's not an occasion to become fearful and fretful and wondering what you're going to do. It's at that moment you call out to the Lord and you say, Here I am. I stand upon the promises that you have ordained in my life, that you have brought forth, and I will not commit this sin. Now, if we're honest, it's the exact opposite. When we are tempted, we begin to start thinking, oh, man, yeah, it would feel good. Or, you know what, I, I, the urge is so strong, I, I, I don't know what to do, and that is where you failed. Instead of taking this course of action, it is up to you now, brother. It is up to you now, sister, that the a moment of attack... When you sense that your desire is leaning towards the wrong direction for you to cry out to God and pray. And then check your surroundings. Consider what you're thinking. Consider what you're watching or listening to. Consider what you've just watched or just listened to. Consider where you are, who you've been around. And I'm saying this for a reason. Because seeds are planted. And once these seeds have been planted, they may not fruit, but bear fruit right away. The seed that is planted bears fruit later. So consider where you've been. Consider what you've been listening to. Consider what you've been watching and make the appropriate changes. We don't have to be slaves to masturbation. We don't have to be slaves to lust. What is your prayer life like, brother? What is your prayer life like, sister? Are you fearful? Do you fear this sin because in times past you have fallen in this area so many times before? Do you feel hopeless? Jesus is a friend of sinners. Jesus is a friend of the addicted person. He comes and he speaks and he says, My child, don't consider the lust and the passion that the masturbation is trying to draw you in or draw you through. Consider that I am here for you and that I'm asking you to change your thoughts. Do not make provision for the flesh. Do not sit there and allow your mind to drift. Don't get on the internet and type in Pornhub. Don't get on the internet looking for things. And might I add, Facebook can be just as pornographic as any porn site on the internet. So be mindful of who's in your friend's box or rather whose people you are associated with. Be mindful of who you're talking to, who you're listening to. Facebook is just as pornographic as any porn site. Be mindful of where you're going and what you're looking at when you're on Facebook. Brothers and sisters, you don't have to fear masturbation. You don't have to feel as if you're hopeless and that this sin will control you for the rest of your life because you're just as strong as your thoughts. And if your thoughts are weak, you are weak. If you don't Grab a hold of yourself and say, I will not commit this sin. If you don't grab a hold of prayer and say, Lord, on the authority of the Holy Spirit, I will not commit this sin, then brothers and sisters, you've already failed. Remember the power of the will. You may not have the ability in which to turn your desire from something, but you have the ability in which to choose right or wrong. And when you choose right, there must be appropriate action. Appropriate action comes when we desire Christ and say, look, I'm not going to do this. Although my flesh desires me to indulge, I'm going to get on my knees and pray. I'm going to turn off the television. I'm going to turn off the radio. I'm going to tell that person I'm going to call you back. I'm going to put my phone down. I'm going to find my prayer closet and I'm going to fight on my knees. That is what it takes to overcome this lust, this demon. You may not be addicted to masturbation, but I'm going to tell you it is an addiction stronger than any drug. And if you know of anyone that is addicted, I please, I beg you to share this video with them. I'm hoping that you're sharing or hitting the share button even now. Why? Because this is an important topic and we're not truly getting these topics taught to us in our churches. Now I praise God for the faithful men and women who desire to approach this topic. 
And if you find yourself addicted, if you find yourself wounded by masturbation and lust, consider this one thing. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world, than he that is in your flesh, than he that is trying to get you to stumble based upon the flesh. Brothers and sisters, we must look up. We must pray. We must focus our attention on the Savior. We must say with purpose, I will not be moved. Although my flesh beat against me, I will not commit this sin. And we must mean it. We must mean it to the extent that we will fall on our knees and cry out to God until deliverance comes. This has been Andre Battles with I Battle Daily Ministries. You don't have to be a slave to masturbation. Understand this, know this, and be blessed.